Today, before we started meditation, I was in between wakefulness and sleep after the night, and I said to Raphael, I feel that our body is actually our instrument on which we should play our music, our symphony. And uh, you liked it, right? Mm -hmm. You have to explain a bit more, because we were about to do the breath. It's a technique which Dr. Joe Dispenza teaches, and he still says, use the body as an instrument of consciousness. Oh, I didn't know. I think it was in my subconscious. Yeah. Yeah. So we want to use that, what we have been given, this physical body, to get into the consciousness, to feel the consciousness. I don't know how to explain it. I thought, he says it, that we should use it as an instrument. But I thought we should use it as a musical instrument. And if there is something in non-flow, it's like dis-ease of flow, non-ease, then it doesn't play nice music. And if you have a flute which is nicely tuned and which is nicely carved and so on, it plays beautiful music, which you love to hear, you know? Mm -hmm. And that's what I thought, that uh, we also go in a pool, uh, or, or we are around pools and so on, and we can see the energy of the people who are charging the water by just swimming in the pool. And that's why I got this in inspiration, like, oh my gosh, this body of ours is basically an instrument. We are playing the music, we are emitting the light into our aura, we are emitting the light around us, and we are charging the whole space around us, right? Also, even though if you are in a water, in a pool with somebody, or if you are somewhere and you're just breathing the same air because if you exhale something if you exhale air it was part of you and it was in your body contacting all your cells and then you exhale it and somebody else sitting in a bus next to you and so they are en they are inhaling your your exhale and, and the you, you do the air yeah. which touched you which uh, was going into your lungs has all the information and yeah. consciousness yeah. of you yeah which other people will then breathe as well yeah that's how we are all connected here we are all connected all the time we are mingling and if you would not if you wouldn't would say i'm not willing to mix my air with that person you would die in two minutes, you know, because the body has to breathe, right? Mm -hmm. So it's funny how we are supposed to be connected and we all have to create beautiful energy. We all have to care for our air and our planet because of that. Yeah, and when we want to elevate our consciousness, when we want to meditate, for example, we can use our body, you know, by tuning into our heart, which we have been given by tuning into the brain and feel each of our energy centers and make them synchronized. Mm -hmm. make, make a symphony, a beautiful symphony with your body that can help you mm, reach greater realms of consciousness. I don't know if that makes sense for you, but we don't have to only leave our body and then do the meditation and be in the blackness and in the space and then go back to it we can use our body and take our body with us Probably. and it can it can be our springboard for elevating our consciousness in this lifetime it's not for nothing that we have been given this phys physical body and we are basically feeding the body all the time some energy and frequencies all the time it's coming in and out all the time and if something comes in and it's not good, the body doesn't want it. If it is in foods, then you could have a stomach ache, you could have some intestinal problems, or you could have like vomiting, even, you know, if there are the energies which the body doesn't want mm -hmm. at all. Or it can be like also energetic, you know, you can get depressed and all of, the, all of a sudden s you can get very tired. You don't know why. Where yeah. is it coming yeah. from? And that's why it's very good to like tune your instrument before you go somewhere. Like <coughs> tune it for your highest good, for your fre frequencies and so on, to play the nicest music for you. 
And maybe you can also play in your headphones or in your home some beautiful music and imagine that the body is playing this music. It's also beautifully healing. And uh, if you tune your body like this, you will be absolutely sure if somebody is not really fitting into your frequencies later. And you can deal with it so the way that you will never get sick and you will never get you will never have a problem with your body because if you are going to be fully aware of where you carrying where you're carrying your instrument then you are actually uh, going to have always great responses and great communication with your body and you're taking care of you're safe all the time and also when you are using the body to become really strong and resilient uh, energetically and emotionally then it doesn't really matter where you go mm -hmm. but you will be protected by the energies that surround you mm -hmm. the energy in your field will be so strong that the other energies which the body usually would react to and would maybe get sick from they wouldn't get to you anymore mm -hmm. because there would be nothing to be protecting yourself from because there would be no not existing even these things for you because it would be so much not in your energy field so it wouldn't you wouldn't be even receptive for it after you practice this enough time mm -hmm. Hmm? so it is really cool in case we take time and to just tune into our body as an instrument because uh, we can make our body to get rid of some ailments which we are burdened by or which we are bothered by and maybe people who need to heal can also inspire and say hey, I have an instrument I actually have mm -hmm. a beautiful instrument you know and now let's I can do something let's take our body with us on this journey let's take our body with us mm -hmm. on this we don't have to get away from it mm -hmm. to fix it mm -hmm. It yeah. can be the very solution to the problem that we have. Mm -hmm. To be deeply in the body then. Mm -hmm. Because the body doesn't want anything but just us to be there in it. The body doesn't want us to be somewhere else, you mm. know. It wants us to be in the body. That's why this channel is called Body With Your Body. Because we would like to inspire people to be better bodies with their bodies. And then when you are a better body with your body, what else is coming, you know? Your kids see it, they mirror it, they grow up in it, and your surroundings, your colleagues see it, and they could just be inspired because if you are a buddy with your body and say, hey, I feel really tired, I can't go there, I just need to rest, and your colleague is like, hey, I didn't even think about that I could just rest, I thought I have to go, but if you are resting, then I, I really am tired too, so I'll go and rest too. And this way you are just spreading the message of the body with your body, being body with your body. <laughs>